The Western tradition of spring branding could be uh, on the line if a proposal by the USDA goes through, but traditions die hard in Montana cattle country. NBC Montana's Mike Mestis reports. The cows on the Mission Ranch outside of Livingston all bear the same easy-to-spot mark, and that's the way some cattle ranchers like it. The brand's pretty much a necessity in this country, I think. Ranch manager Richard Phillips thinks it's the best approach to identifying cattle. The big concern is, you know, being able to trace that animal back to the ranch if it was stolen or it, in case of disease or anything like that. But a proposal by the USDA could change things a bit. The plan would make ear tags the federal standard for identifying livestock. It wouldn't outlaw iron brands, but instead would leave it up to states. Congressman Denny Reberg agrees with ranchers who prefer the brand. He sent a letter to Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack. In it, he calls branding part of the heritage of ranching in the West. He says the proposal would diminish its importance. He thinks making ear tags the standard would make selling cattle out of state more complicated. But in a separate letter, Vilsack says 30 states don't brand. He says he would want states to decide for themselves, but not let one state set the standard for all others. For now, nothing is set in stone. It's probably the best method. Outside Livingston, Mike Mestis, NBC Montana.